Stacy won the coin toss and broke dry. Shane takes an early one nothing lead. Looks like uh, Jason Osborne has a chance to get out here. Bring another Hill Hill match. We anticipated there, you know, with this format, there'd be a lot of Hill Hill matches probably during this weekend. Shane wasting no time. Shane breaks and runs to take an early 2 0 lead. Not wasting any time at all. It's almost like he's done this before. Stacy makes the one ball. You got a good shot on the two ball. Nothing's really tied up. If she can get through this, that should help her with her confidence a little bit. I'm sure she's a little nervous given that she's playing Shane and she's on the TV table. All eyes are on this match for the most part. Most eyes are on this match. The back massage you got on your tongue. That three, yeah. three must pass. She's looking at it, but I would have thought she would have looked before she had uh, selected that shot. Good shot, Stacy. Yeah. It looks like Jason Osborne gets defeated by Sean Lane, 6-4. They just finished, but I don't know who. I don't know who won it. Jason Clatt wins Hill Hill over Dan McClellan. Good. I think that was a pretty friendly little nudge there for Stacy. Good shot.
Red AC Henry, uh, Clat won that match, Hill Hill. Uh oh. Oh, Stacy. Well, she got uh, got it behind the ball. Certainly pocketable, but I think he either has to kick down table or jump yeah. over it to try and make yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to spin that off the top rail. If he goes and gets his jump stick, this. I watched the finals the last year, last night on YouTube. And last year's finals. I watched last yeah. year's finals with with Shane and Darren last night, and those two matches were the two ma best matches I've ever seen bar table nine ball in my entire life Shane I, don't, I think I don't think he missed a single ball everything he jumped at he made except one not just hit it but made it successfully so I fear that this one's going in and Stacy may not like this great shot by Shane you're right red when he, when he jumped, I believe it was either the one or the two ball. I want to say it was the two ball, and you drew down table into that stack to break that three ball out. That was outstanding. Well, she had her chance this game. Yeah, I don't know if you guys got the update. Jason Klatt won his match second time, Hill Hill. There is, a, there is a bracket post that Jerry's been working on. It's all updated now at the Challenge website. Oh, and he hit that a little hard. That one ball drifted off. Going two rails. Looks like it. Right before the side. How good did he hit that? Pretty, yeah, pretty it was good okay. shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About another fraction of an inch, and that ball's in the hole, and he's got shape on the deuce. I got to give a shout out to Stacy's hair. Yeah, she just had a cut. It's I seen awesome. It on Tuesday night. And, it's uh, like a rock star. Just got a haircut. People were laughing last night. Says, who uh, who let pink in the tournament? <laughs> I told her she looked like yeah. a, another pink.
Uh oh. Hmm. Oh, looked like it could have been a good two-way, well, but I think it squirted out. Yeah, I think you can see it, but I'm not sure how he's going to get back down on that that two ball. I think he can punch it with a little draw and, and, and get past that side. If not, I'm thinking he's going to go one, two, three, four rails and tuck the one between the one and the four and leave the cue ball up near the eight. Yeah, come around. But that might be more of a big table shot. Or you can just do are that. You, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my. Shot of the day. No surprise it was him either. Oh, my goodness. Poor Stacy. Yeah, she just kind of shakes her head. Poor Stacy. say he's probably the best bar table player in eight ball, nine ball, or ten ball in the world. Yeah. If somebody thinks otherwise, I'm not going to stake the up. guy, but yeah, put, put somebody, somebody up. up. And prove it. Four nothing, Shane's over, up over Stacy. Lynn, why are you not here? I'd seen your name on the list, and uh, when we had the player meeting last night, I noticed you weren't here. That's correct. There are 405 viewers logged in right now watching the stream. Oh, that was my moment. He does make it look easy. Yeah, he does. Oh, my. Oh, commentator curse. Yeah. I think that's the uh, first ball I've seen him miss. Uh, he missed a one ball two racks ago, I want to say. Okay. Well, you know, you see a deal. Maybe. 
Come on, Stacy. <laughs> Yeah, looking over the monitors here, she's got that full ball right in her way. Stacy's not much of a jumper, and she's a bit short. She'd have to kind of stretch on that a little bit. She might go go to the side rail, come back either one or two rails, kick at the four. She can. She gets a natural leave on the five ball. I think that's what she might be looking at. And a great shot. Yep. Two rail kick, great shape on the five. Up close and personal with that eight ball. Good shot. Five. Not yet. About to be five zero. Putting. Uh, yeah, Shane goes to the hill, leading five zero against Stacy. I mean, and that's just buffering. three chances. She had a break. She had a break where she should have gotten out. She had a chance that game where she made a great chance. Uh, she broke her in her first break. Um, I couldn't tell you what happened in her second break. Her third break she made a ball and should have gotten out and didn't. I don't know if she did or not on the second ball. Shane is being Shane. Well, Lynn, if it's any consolation, uh, I believe your withdrawal allowed Phil Tatum, I'm sure you know Phil, allowed him to play, so uh, he was probably pretty happy. I think I met her the year before she won the BCA, whatever event that was, the Women's Open A Ball. Bar table? Yeah. Bar table championship. Yes. Yeah, she gets really good. I honestly, Jason would probably get annoyed if I say this, but Jason Osborne, who just won the Dog Hill, I feel like she was played in like 10 years in a row. And I know she's really loved him to finally get over that. Over the last six months. Yeah, because he's got her in a corner, in his oh, yeah. corner, saying, you know, giving her all the time. Yeah, Stacy doesn't really get down on herself too yeah. much. She she, she one keeps time a pretty I, one time even I demeanor. Ball so bad, and I hooked my opponent. She was like immediately. She was like, Amy, don't feel bad. If you would have made it, you wouldn't have hooked him. It just you know it's, it, it happens. It's not like you did it on purpose. She's playing next weekend also in the women's tournament, right? I'm the, sure. Yes. I believe she's signed up. She's won it two years. She's a two time champion of the women's charity team. Oh, we dropped a little far on that. Does the five go? I think, I think it it'll pass. Yeah, it'll pass the nine. Yeah, it'll definitely pass the nine. Just got to cinch you a shot, take the leave you get up by the top rail, and. Try not to do anything funky with with the cue ball. Yeah, 
I was rooting for you, Phil. Who'd you beat this morning? Man, this may be all she wrote, folks. Oh, goodness, I spoke too soon. Stacy's on the board. Shane just smiles as he gets down to uh Hey, easy, Scott. Ball. Easy, guys. Fortunate uh, leave there. Wow, what a great shot. <laughs> great cross bank on the three. This year I'm not drinking. Well, I was going to, you know, and somebody. See if he goes two rails and kills it or goes three rails, comes between that six. I think it looks like he's queuing to go three. He went two and he came up short. Goodness. Hi, Eric. All right, Stacy's got a chance to uh, get to two here. Make Shane a little bit nervous. Good shot, Stacy. Roll it in. Girl is on a roll. Eric, you're missing out on a great tournament, bro. 
Um, So quick score update, you guys. Looks like Brian Parks is up 4-0 against uh, Tom Butler. Far table, we got Mark Estes with two. Tied with Tommy Lips at two. We got Jeff Schilder at four against John Ballon at three. Stacy combos the three nine in to make wow, it a five she's, three match. She's making this a game. This could be the uh, Cinderella story. She's got heart. If you don't know yeah, Stacy, there is no <laughs> there is no give yet. up in that girl. Yeah, if you do know Stacy, you know that she never quits. She's always positive, and she's got more heart than most. Two ball looks a little tricky. I don't know if it goes in the side or not. Yeah, I think it's past the past the point. Yeah, it's it's past the point. It's it's makeable. Easy ball to overcut oh, and he did. Oh goodness, and he and pushes six. that. He pushes that six right to the pocket. Come on, Stacy. Deep breath. Yeah, Stacy's a very deliberate player. She won't get up and just haphazardly fire at something. That d didn't quite come out as she had planned, but. Oh, no. Cardiac Kid, um, Ronnie Allen, Jimmy Moore, and Greg Cool, neither of the three played in the event. Um, I know Jimmy Moore was up here earlier today. I chit chatted with him for a little while, but yeah, I'm not Jimmy sure if he's said, still here. I gave uh, Jimmy a ride home. He said he'll probably be back a little later to watch okay. some of the evening matches. She just wanted to show off her kick skills. Ouch. Ronnie Allen's actually here with us. He's uh, standing about three feet away from the box. Oh, no shit. Greg Cool has uh, not come in yet. <clears throat> Sorry to hear that, hear that, Q Doctor. Hope you healed up nicely. routine from here. I think he's uh, going to close this out. I 
That's all she wrote. All right, let's pan out here and check out another match while we're getting ready for the Scott Frost match. I play uh, Mike Massey next on table three in the far corner. I play next. Yeah, I won my first match. Yeah, I won my first match. I won my first match by playing Mike Massey. You were hard. You should be. Yes, he's playing next. Well, yeah, but still, that's a tough one. Oh, you're playing next? What? You guys date? Breaking news here at POV Pool. Sitting here with Geraldine Frost. Starting already? Yeah, Scott Frost oh, wow. for the first Starting break. already. Okay. Scott wins the, the coin toss. Chad racks him up. Scott breaks. Looks like he made the one, I'm guessing, in the side. I think you can see the edge of the deuce. But I know Scott is going to play some sort of lockup move here. Yeah, something happened there. I'm not sure what uh, what took place, but maybe they forgot about the uh, maybe it didn't have the nine on the spot or something. Or oh, that could have been. Well, no, because Scott's racking now, and Scott just broke. My guess is that whoever won the coin toss forgot that it wasn't a rack your own format. Oh, uh, I see. That's my guess. That could be. Yeah. I see Scott racking now, which makes me think Chad may have won the toss. Who knows? Chad with a good controlled break, but didn't make anything. And oh, Scott's taken off already. Oh, goodness. Both players are from Phoenix. Well, Chad's from Peoria, Glendale area. Scott's from Tempe, but both both are the Phoenix metro area. I believe this is Chad's second, second maybe third trip to this tournament. I want to say this is his second. And I know he was pretty pretty excited uh, about winning his first match over Donnie Branson because it meant that he got to play Scott. And win or lose, I know Chad's going to enjoy himself during this match. Shot on the one. Holds the cue ball nicely. Nice shot. 
shot there. Scott gets a little funny on the eight here, but I think one pocket got him thinking, got the man thinking. Pulls it. Scott pulled the eight. It's going to leave Chad a bank. It's just what Chad wanted. Uh, if he can bank this back on the side, it gives him a natural leave right on the nine. Yep. All he's got to do is drop it. Oh, he comes oh. up a bit short. Oh, Scott tried to give it away, and Chad said, no, 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 you take it. Chad's actually a good buddy of mine. He's on my uh, Wednesday night league team in Phoenix. Oh, is he? Yeah. Good local player, respected. Oh, look at this. Look, out. look at this. Look Are out. you kidding? Not sure quite why Scott's racking. He just racked the last. Yeah, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, Chad broke the last rack. Chad right? did break. Chad did break. And he fouled. He fouled the game before. Oh, okay. That's why. That's why Chad got the last break. Scott did something to foul on the first break, which gave it back to Chad. Couldn't tell you what it was. I tried to correct him right now and let him know it wasn't his break, and he corrected me and let me know that there was an error on that first break. We just. We just missed it. That's a uh, safety break. I like the way he thinks. A little bit unorthodox, <laughs> but uh, taking a risk here, locking Scott up on the break. I'm not too sure Chad wants to get into a chess match with Scott. <laughs> Chad can play a little Looks chess. Looks like that 3-9 down at the bottom could be, uh, I'm sure, will come into play, whoever can get down on it. I think Scott's already looking a couple of moves ahead here. Oh, wow. What a shot. What a shot. Thanks for the update, Mars. Winters and Woodward, I guess, are playing $2,000 yeah, sets. Wasn't, uh, I think I seen earlier they said Skylar was up the first two sets or yeah, something. Yeah, that's what I read. You guys know where they're playing? Sorry if I missed that. Looks like he's going to cut this two ball all the way down. Oh, he was looking at it for a second. 
bank it back on the side. So. I think he's I think he's playing safe. Oh wow. Not many left to look at it. He's got a chance here. So I wouldn't necessarily say run out, but he could tie Scott back up. <clears throat> The two goes by the five. Is it? Whether he chooses to shoot that shot or not. Well, I think the safe is a, about as tough as pocketing He's that ball. He's trying to pocket it, yeah. And with given where the three is, I don't know if I want to give shot. A, excuse me, give Scott another shot if I didn't have to. Let's we'll see what he does. And what a great it? shot! How did he hit that ball? What a shot! And he gets rewarded. Great shot by Chad Barber. About an hour behind. Did you did you did you say Jeff is? Did you just say Jeff is about to beat Mike Massey? Yeah, no, Jeff's oh. about to beat. Shilder's about to beat Milan. Oh, just checking. Milan. Looks like Brian Parks takes down Tom Butler six two. Brian Parks advances. He'll be back tomorrow morning to play on the winner's side. You know, it's pretty boring, but maybe we should have lunch or something. Talk about, you know, call me on the phone. Sign off for a little bit. Sign off for a little bit. Thank you, man. You know, gave me a nice thank you. Great job. I enjoyed that. Got to talk to you. Yeah, so they'll finish the, they'll finish the winter side uh, tonight. They will come back in the morning. There will be another winner's bracket in the morning. One round in the winner's bracket, then the rest of the day tomorrow will all be the one loss side. Hey, how did, how did Scott Frost get up 10 to 1? That's, that's strong. Ooh, it's 10 to 1. Somebody, wow. somebody bumped the key. All right, what's going on here, everybody? You're going on, Daniel Bush. No, I'm not. I'm taking a break. Are you kidding me? I'm signing off. Thank you to everybody who listened, and hello to everybody in Phoenix. That's right, the Phoenix Lights. Ben Sutherland, everyone. Thanks a lot to Ben, and thanks to uh, Jeff Childer, 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 earlier for uh, giving us a break. Scott Frost and Barba, uh, yeah, Chad like Barbara, Barber. I'm not sure what happened there. Did Jeff win? Did Jeff Childer win? Jeff Childer won. Get to work. I tell you what. You know the pool table's open over here. Oh, is it? Can you turn one of the cameras around so we can give uh, give the crowd a real show? Say, you and I can start our uh, action early. You know what? I think I've got one good match left in me, and uh, I'm about to put it on Mike Massey uh, in my Shoot, next. Don't give me that. In my next match, and you know, I come off of a good win there. Let's uh, let's talk. All right, buddy. I'm rooting for you. I, you should be. Did are you guys, I mention, are you did guys I mention gonna, I'm a POV sponsor? Are you guys side betting with uh, 
Oh, yeah. with, uh, you going to side bet with oh, yeah. Mike Massey? I don't think he gambles, actually. No. You know what? Mike is an awesome guy to talk to, though. Very uh, very cool, well, well put together guy. Yeah, yeah. What time do you play? You play in like 15 minutes, right? Uh, it's scheduled for 7.30, but the match on my table right now looks like it's at 3.30, so I'll be up after they finish. Hey, I got to tell you, by the way, uh, I have uh, anybody in the Lo Vegas area local, I have copies of Scott Frost's DVDs. Um, hey, would you like, do you like to play for money? Oh, no, it's called uh, Power, Power One, One Pocket, Pocket 2. It's the second version. Yeah. Yeah, him and uh, Fast Lenny worked on that together. And just came out a couple so, months ago, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've watched this DVD, and uh, my review uh, out of 10 uh, like is a 9 out of 10. I'll give it a 9, nine out of 10. I think I think that the, uh, the DVD was good. It was very informative. I learned a bunch of shots that uh, I didn't know. And he also had a couple of uh, breaking tips, one-pocket breaking tips that were really helpful. But you don't really play one-pocket, do you? I don't. No, if, if, it's, if it's not on a bar table, it doesn't exist. To yep. me. So. so if anybody in the Vegas area wants to uh, purchase a copy of uh, Power One Pocket 2, come and see me at uh, the Rum Runner and I'll, I'll uh, gladly sell you one for 40 bucks. Or you can go to one, what is it? Poweronepocket.com. Poweronepocket.com. I'm sure Scott would be happy to sign a few if there's anybody that wanted a uh, autographed copy. I went cold. I don't know where my head went. And then you get relaxed. No, and you know what it was? I was so but I was frustrated. And I think when he missed and left me the shot for the out. So how are you feeling, Jeff? You know what? I'm uh, a lot better now than I was in my first match. That was uh, uh, nothing to brag about. Yeah. But feeling a lot better. I just get the nerves out and play my match and uh, I like going in as the underdog actually so me too I like doing yeah. that kind of relieves a little bit of the pressure you know anything you can do uh, is impressive so All right. So Scott Frost uh, is uh, he's playing, you know, he's playing a good cue ball. I like his cue ball. Boy, I tell you, the view on this table, doesn't it look kind of like a nine foot table? And yeah, then he stands next to it and he looks view. like a big giant? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he is a big guy. Not exactly a small guy. So everybody, uh, Jeff the Untaggable has showed up. How are you doing, Jeff? Pretty good, Daniel. How about yourself? We're doing all right, man. It's good to have you here at the Rum Runner, dude. Good to be here. It looks like we have Bill in the chat room. What's going on, Bill? And poor man. Looks like we have all the normal people in there watching right now. Yeah, we got all the usual suspects uh, and then some. Wow, we've got quite a few tonight. Oh, over 250 people chatting together. I don't even know how that's possible. Nice, good turnout. It's one loud room right there, buddy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Anyway, you guys decided to come out. This is your first time at the Rum Runner, isn't it? This is my first time at the Rum Runner, yes. Yes. A little packed. Are you a little overwhelmed? It's a, it's a little packed. Quite a few people here. Are you warm? You want to take off a sweater? I, I should probably take off a few of my jackets. <laughs> This is Jeff Gray, by the way. Have you had? Do you know who Jeff Gray is? I do not. Jeff, nice to meet you. Oh, Jeff, this is Jeff. Easy to remember. Easy to remember. I won't forget your name. But maybe his face. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It's not a very good joke. <laughs> Play a J JC. Look, I'm not going to sign your forehead, bro. I'm done. <laughs> Looks like they just called a match. We got uh, 
good friends Ray Skinnendor and Trez Kane playing each other on table two, just getting ready to start. That should actually be a pretty pretty good match. Wow, check it out. We got so, we got people I haven't seen for a long time. Score, dude. Three one. Oh, no, sorry about that. I'm not doing my job, am I? The score is three to one. Sad sop, how you doing? Uh, also, yeah, we got uh, Wow, that's a game right there. Trace versus Ray Skenendor. Tommy's on the uh, on the hill. I'm next on that table with Mike Massey, so I'm out. I'm going to get my sticks together, and I will uh, see you in about 30 minutes. Okay, yeah, right after you beat him, right? That's right. You gotta, I, predict, I predict 6-1 my way. If you really want to rattle him, I, I, should, I tell you, just say, hey, you want to side bet 10 bucks? Well, no, my, my whole theory is to walk up to Mike and say, don't take this ass whooping personal. Okay. Right, right before we, right before we flip. Yeah. yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, guys. Jeff Gray signing off. Why don't, why don't you just do the classic and just walk up to him and say, "Be easy on me." Yeah. yeah. All right. Show mercy, Jeff. Sir. Have a seat, buddy. Hey, Jeff. Number uh, Jeff number two is gonna go play. Now we got Jeff number one in the driver's seat here with us. Oh man. It's been a long weekend already. You know, it's been a long day. It was a long drive out here. Why was it so long? It's only like four and a half hours to LA. You know, we hit quite a bit of traffic, and then when we got off the freeway, I swear, uh, iPhone GPS took us the longest route possible. And then on our way to the Rome Runner, we hit literally every single red light. We did not miss one, one red light. We hit them all. Oh, well, the streets in Vegas are designed that way, by yeah. the way, just so you know. Well, we got, uh, we got uh, multiple table coverage going on, as you can see here. I see um, that. We've got actually a great match that just started on uh, table three, Trace Kane and Ray Skenendor. Okay. This is Ray in the blue and black striped shirt right there and showing his belly. And about to break. And thanks, Scott. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there's Ray Skenendor. Ray is a, uh, he's actually a poker dealer. He deals really? poker at the casino. And, uh, plays pool on the side. And he plays pool, and he's also a bartender. Nice. I can't remember where he said he was bartending. So good luck to Ray, who's playing Trace Kane. Trace Ooh. Kane is, uh, almost oh, we almost made ball, the nine. Yeah. Almost nine ball break on that shot. Trace Kane is a, uh, an Arizona player. He plays from. He plays out of Phoenix, Arizona. To our left, right here, we have Edgy playing Paul Juarez. <laughs> that left, yes. Yeah, Edgy Geronimo. Score is one zero. Edgy. It's kind of difficult to figure the best match. That's Paul Juarez shooting right now. Paul actually. Uh, used to live in uh, the Mountain View, California area and really? uh, just moved to Las Vegas. I've yet to sit down and talk to him and find out uh, why and how long he's moved and how long he's lived here in LV. Have uh, Oscar or Ernesto played yet? Yes, Ernesto's had um, a couple of matches and Oscar lost his match. Ooh. He went hill hill with, I'm trying to remember. Geraldine, who did Oscar lose to? Oscar? Lost to who? Hill hill? Tra Trace Crane. Oh, he lost to Trace Kane, who is oh, playing Ray Skenendor playing right now. Right on, yeah. So there you have it, man. That's, uh, you know, I got, a lot, I got a lot of respect for Trace, actually. Uh, he's got a very good game. And, uh... I'm on the wrong camera. There he is, uh, playing Ray Skenendor. Let's catch Scott Frost over here playing. Tough action here at the run. A, a lot of good players here. Oh, yeah. A lot of good players. A lot of good players. Well, we've got 12 pro players in the field. And, uh, you know, not to mention Shane Van Boning, who's won it four times in a row. Yes.
So this is. Uh, How many people do we have on the stream right now? Very fast-paced action. Wow, look at that, almost 400. Nice. Very nice. And Edgy Geronimo as well. In a tough match, playing Paul Juarez. What is Scott going to do here with ball in hand? I could swear I see him talking to himself there, is he not? <laughs> You're not a pool player, Daniel, unless you're if talking you're not, to yourself not, <laughs> at the table. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you just you just caught me checking myself there for a second. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> this makes sense. And uh, this just in by Amy Kane. Uh, Tommy Lips has defeated Mark Hestis in a final score of six to three. It looks like we're going to have uh, Jeff Gray against Mike Massey coming up. That's right. And that's going to happen on the very table that Mike uh, Mark Mark Estes just lost on. So that's right. We had Jeff Gray who was just commentating now. Did Scott just get ball in hand again? So he did. are they going for the three foul rule? Is that it? Um, you know, I know he played a safety on that three ball, and it looks like he uh, gave him ball in hand back. And yeah. so I'm not. Yeah, see what he's doing looks here. Looks like he. He's gonna, uh, I, he looks like he's going to go for that three foul rule. Yeah, I think he's trying to hook him behind the three, but that four, but that's, you know, I mean, this is going to be an easy hit, or is it now? Well, hold on. It's kind of hard to tell how much room he has between that rail. And he's got quite a bit of traffic up table. Okay, and now this will be foul number two. Gave it to him, so he's going to do it right again. Well, wait a minute. How many fouls is he on? This would be number two, I believe. That's just... Uh, so this should be, if he misses this one, that should be the third foul. I believe there is a three foul rule. No, there isn't. So no, there must not be. No, so we could, go, we could be at this all yeah. day. A lot of talking going on right now. A lot of talking. Jim Blakeman is uh, coming to check the uh, check the hit, and nice safety there. Nice shot. Real nice shot. I think Scott was trying to do more there. I think he was trying to freeze behind the four. Ties up that five ball down table. Uh, well, I know what he was trying to try do there. It was a good attempt. He Actually. had the right idea for it. Oh, he got there. Did he? he got oh, there. It's, yeah. you know, it's kind of hard to see from this, from our angle, because we can't actually see the table itself. But that was a great shot. That's right. Scott Frost, the author, or the main character, the originator of Power One Pocket. That's right. You can check out 
both of his DVDs on PowerOnePocket.com. And if you're local here looking for his DVD, why don't you come on down? This, I have copies that you can pick up. Is this alternating? So does he. Is this alternating break? Yes, it is. Yes. Where are the races? Race to six. Six. On both sides. Okay, back now to Edgy Geronimo playing Paul Juarez. What happened? Well, it looks like three games to two now. Paul Juarez is ahead of Edgy. Edgy's going to break. And looks like Jeff Paul's, Gray. Looks like Paul's racking. Yes, but it's it's a rack for your opponent. Oh, is it? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's a little different from some of the other tournaments that we've been doing lately. Yes, but it is magic rack, and players can ex inspect the rack. So. Right. And then right there on the back table, you got Jeff Gray playing Mike Massey, and he's at the table. Let's check on Scott Frost real did quick. You, he's about uh, to break. Or he did break. Did you get an action match set up with him later? There's been some woofing. It's been all bark and no bite. I'm sure with as many people as we have here, I'm sure we'll get something stirring up in a POV after dark. Well, there's always something to stir up in Las Vegas, that's for sure. Well, it seems like Scott's in good shape here. When you guys are down here, I want you to check out the Rum Runner Lounge and also Pool Sharks on Decatur, a couple of the best pool halls you can visit in the Las Vegas area. 24 hours a day, action, plenty of that. And uh, Pool Sharks has some pretty good weekly tournaments. Be sure to check out Pool Sharks and ask Katie Moore or Sheila Eileen about the weekly tournaments there. And that's it. It looks like Scott, Scott Frost took that match. That being said, we're going to quickly check out the rest of this match between Edgy and Paul Juarez. And right behind that, we'll have Mike Massey with uh, Jeff Gray. Mike Massey now shooting at the five. Now who's at the table here? This is Edgy. It's weird seeing Vilmos here without Attila next to him. It's weird seeing Vilmos here without a pool cue is and he, a blue striped jersey, like jersey on. Is he, is he playing? No, he's not playing this he's event. He's not, he's no. just here. Oh, okay. For day one, we've got some pretty good matches so far. It's hard to believe that uh, we go we're going to have two days to go. Are you guys here until Monday? We plan to stay for a while. Possibly till Tuesday. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Local player, Ray Scanador, playing Trace Kane. He's up two to zero. And nice defense there by Edgy. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Edgy plays the. Uh, Safety.
Edge is going to go back to his chair, feeling a little disappointed. Didn't play a very good shot. Paul has a chance. He can make this ball. Looks like Paul's up 3-2 uh, to two right now. Yeah, he's up 3-2. to two. And he's going to have to cut this nice and thin. He's not going to even go there. No, he's going to play. He's going to play safe on it. Oh. That's a bold move, trying to outmove Edgy. Actually, Paul plays a very um, good, fluid game. And uh, when I met him, what? Go ahead. When I met him a few years ago, he he had to actually take a break from pool because he had a, a baby. And it's nice to see him back again with a cue in his hand. Edgy's gonna take this game. Look at this, 1-9 bank. Oh, yes, nice shot. what a great nice shot. shot. Hey, did you guys see those huge ass lights coming in on the 15 when you come into Vegas? There are three of them on, the, on your left hand side. No. They were the aliens. I looked it up on. They were like untaggable, <laughs> giving you Morse code. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> we knew you were coming. Yeah, I'm gonna 
turn this on. Sorry, I don't mean to blow it in your face. Dude, we've been in it all day. Oh, so that Calcutta price is up there. Aliens were crazy. You guys need to drive in to Vegas. What do you What do you mean? Video quality is stupid. What does that mean? What do does mean? that mean? Where do you see that? <laughs> Video quality is stupid. What What does that mean? I think it means he needs a new computer. He needs a smartphone. Oh, saw what you did with that. Hey, you know, I was watching a stream last night, and I knew you were using the Mac because of actually how clear the stream was. Yeah, it was stupid. <laughs> stupid clear. Brought to you by Robert Plant. Of Led Zeppelin. Is your mic off? Son. We're all good. Oh, these two. John Pizzuto. Welcome back. Hey, we love you, baby. Dude, the video is drunk. <laughs> the video is drunk. Bill Roach. I want to give a shout out to Bill from Texas. Bill is always, uh, always watching us. How you doing, Bill? Yeah, I talked to him on the phone last night, man. Hope, you're, hope your head is right where it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Wish, uh, well, first of all, I wish you guys could all be here with us in Vegas. But I mean, then again. Me too. I mean, what's another 340 people in here? Alright, what is going to happen now? Paul is really showing quality play. Played a great bank on the one to combinate the nine ball. He seems extremely focused. And I don't think he's going to let Edgy back into this game. You know, is it a big difference for Edgy going from nine footers down to bar boxes? You know, is that a tough... Is that a tough transition for a player of his caliber? For a player of his caliber, it actually shouldn't be. There are some things that he's going to be taught real quick by his peers in order to help him win. His head is always going to be in the right place. Sure. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to say always, but of professional grade. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Paul's letting him back into this game. He's playing stupid. Stupid quality. He's playing stupid quality, man. Stupid good. I'm 
Let's see what he does here. Mm. Oh, looks like oh, he let him back in. Yeah, I think Edgy's. I think Edgy's going to be out on this. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Obvious, rum runner all weekend, guys. What just happened? Stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. Commentator's curse. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. So it's four games to four, guys. And by the way, young Edgy Geronimo, when I say young, I say 37 years young, is sponsored by Tiger Products. He's a Tiger-sponsored player. He's using one of the new X2 cues. It's a beautiful cue. It's a beautiful cue, baby. In fact, the, uh, the core technology that they use to make their shafts was integrated in the design of the X2 line. If you go to tigerproducts.com, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Have you shot with his cue? The, the inner engineering and the inner design of the shaft technology is almost mirrored on the outside design really? of the butt, of the butt of the cue. So those little squares and checkers Check out TigerProducts.com and you'll understand why Tiger is right now making some of the best cues on the market today. Best production cues. You know, he let me uh, take a couple shots with it, um, I, don't know, I think a month ago or so when we were doing a, a stream at Hard Times. Yeah. And it shoots very well. It shoots very well. Oh, yeah. They, they have a very, you know, he's got the Ultra, the Ultra X. And the uh, and the Pro Series, <laughs> and he's got the new X2 line. The uh, Lux, the LX cues are great design, very well designed line of cues. Check out the LX cues from Tiger, and the limited edition Dennis Orculio cues. I highly recommend those. I mean, he's taken a little bit of the classic and a little bit of the new and integrated into the design of, of the LX uh, line. But this new X2 series are something special and I want you to go to Tiger Products and check it out. Edgy's just like, man, I'm just trying to make the ball. I'm trying to win this. Four games apiece here. Nine oh, ball he goes it. down. He, he almost scratched. It. And he gets it. Nice shot. All right, we're going to try this one more time. We're going to see if this works. And if it does, we're going to use it for the rest of the weekend. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> All right, forget it. Let's just try it raw. Okay. <laughs> 
Edgy's just like, man, I'm just trying to make the ball. I'm trying to win this. Four games apiece here. Nine ball oh, he goes it. down. And he he almost scratched. It. And he gets it. Nice shot. All right. Well, we got close. We got close to the instant replay. <laughs> we're working here. We're, we're trying to make it happen. This buggy system here. We're trying to get the Tiger replay going for you consistently. We'll get there if I... I don't know, have to order a patch or something. <laughs> uh, I'll do a reenactment. I'll just, I'll just do reenactments. Reenactment, yeah. reenactment. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so back to this match here. Geronimo. Oh no. We got it going? No, we didn't get it going. We got other things going. What time is the tournament over tonight? The tournament over? Well, well what uh, time are they stopping matches? You know, I'm not sure. Well, what's our what's our last round tonight? 9:30, 9 o'clock? Nine our last round tonight? 9 o'clock? Probably earlier. I think we'll be done by like 9. We could break out our cues around nine o'clock. Like Ten minutes. Oh, so this. Oh, they're running late. They're running a little late. Yeah, a little closer to the mic. You gotta go a little closer. A little closer to the mic. Yeah, you want me to get up? Get up in here. Yeah, a little yeah. bedroom voice. Yeah. What? A little Barry White. Yeah. No, I, my voice isn't like that. My yeah. voice isn't deep enough. Oh, that's good. There you go. Just trying to help you out a little. Thanks. <laughs> that was good. All right, guys. We do have a contest, and we do have videos to give away. They're Max Eberly DVDs. We'll be giving them away tomorrow. Now, in order to qualify for this contest, send an email to this email address, contest at povpool.com. Send us an email, send us your name, the city you live in, and your favorite pool hall. By doing this, you allow us to give you a shout out live on the stream, and you'll be, your name will be placed in a hat and we'll draw three winners for Max Eberly DVDs and all kinds of, oh, and three Kamui tip vouchers. Speaking of which, Max Eberly has somehow, for some reason, forfeited his match. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So I guess he was put on the clock and then he didn't show up. Yeah, that's what happened. But, oh, Max Eberly. <sighs> well, send us an email anyway. <laughs> I tell you what, let's change the contest a little. All right. You're still going to be entered in the drawing. Send us an email and pretend you're Max's mom and, and, <laughs> and lecture him. And we will read your lecture to Max Eberly. <laughs> live. Live on the stream. Live on the stream. There it okay? is. Okay. We'll read your little lecture to him about being missing his match. And, uh, and, and we're going to add your name to the drawing. Okay. Contest at povpool.com. Okay. <laughs> 
let's just try to keep the language to you know keep like, it like, remember guys we are a somewhat family oriented show yeah there you go keep it in the, the family the, depending on the time of night it is all right so the, 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 that's my declaration right there Like, okay, I'll give you an example. Here's my lecture. Max, what the heck's wrong with you, man? What are you, hanging out at the Korean Barbecue. fusion sushi place <laughs> next door, trying to hang out and pick up the Asian girls? Come on, dude. There, that's my little lecture. Did uh, We were too busy talking. Did Edgy end up winning? Because his match is over. Oh, man. I, I don't know. Jim. Jim. Edgy wins. Edgy advances.